AT&T Stadium, the home of the Dallas Cowboys. But this weekend, it's the home for Canelo and Smith. Saul Canelo Alvarez, Guadalajara, Mexico. Liam Beefy Smith, Liverpool, England. Undefeated with a WBO strap over his shoulder. Junior middleweight division. That is the main event, the pay-per-view on Saturday. That'll be inside AT&T Stadium. And there you see the ring right around the 50 yard line. We're moments away from the weigh-in for the main event of Canelo Alvarez and Liam Smith. Bethel Duran alongside Steve Kim at the desk. Kieran Mulvaney and Doug Fisher are on the stage. And there you see him from the fighting Smith brothers. There's four of them. That's Liam Smith, beefy as they called him as a kid. His dad, a former bodybuilder. Liam was the kid, well, he was beefy. He didn't have muscle, but now look at him. And I gotta tell you, that mannerism right there where he's giving you that smile, that camp has been very, very relaxed, but that's the center of attention right there. Saul Alvarez just minutes away from stepping on the scale. The question is, will he make 154 or not? He showed up on Wednesday to Dallas with a red beard. Clean shaven today. Yeah, hey, every ounce counts in a situation like this. We point out again, the last time that Canelo Alvarez was technically a junior middleweight was 2013. Four of his last five fights for Canelo have been at 155 pounds. When he fought Floyd Mayweather, he was 152. Kirkland was 154. And Saturday night, it will be at 154. Canelo Alvarez, Liam Smith, the pay-per-view. Go to HBO or go in the boy pay-per-view for that. That weigh-in is next for Canelo and Smith. Beefy Smith trained by Joe Gallagher. All four of the brothers are trained by Gallagher. He's from Liverpool, as they say over there. You'll never walk alone. And he's not. He has his family with him here. But he's walking into a world at a stadium that's going to be full of, I would say, 99.9% .9 Mexicans rooting for Canelo. I don't think there's any doubt. This truly is the Lions then, and that's the man of the moment right there, Saul Alvarez, and the big story as of right now. Can he make this weight? And beyond that, how will it affect him physically? We've seen fighters be depleted at the weigh-in where it adversely affects their performance. And this man has been the picture of calm and tranquility throughout the week. I get the sense that this moment has not overwhelmed him. As Smith has said, 54, that's my weight. Yeah. That's where I fight at. I don't do anything outside that I need to do to gain a lot of weight. I'm ready to go. And there you see Oscar DeLoya in the middle. Canelo Alvarez is next.
official weigh-in for the main event tomorrow night, and it'll all be brought to you by Oscar De Loya's Golden Boy Promotions in association with Frank Warren, Frank Warren and Canelo Promotions, and broadcast live to the world on HBO Pay-Per-View, along with Box Nation. Stepping onto the scales first, ladies and gentlemen, his record stands. Uh, 47 victories. He weighs in officially 154 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, they go out of La Harra, Jalisco, Mexico, Santos Salavarez, Baragan, a.k.a. Canelo Alvarez. 154 even. Now stepping onto the scales, his professional record. He's got eight straight KOs coming into the fights tonight. He's got 24 fights, 23 victories. He also weighs in at 154 pounds. He's the reigning and defending undefeated WBO light middleweight world champion from Liverpool, Merseyside, England, Liam Fifi Smith. Drinking the Pepino Gatorade immediately as Canelo Alvarez. So they knew their weight to a T because yeah. they jumped on it immediately after the towel, dropped the drawers, and he hit it right on the button. Yeah, and you, I have to tell you, he looks a little All bit dried out. Here. Now, we have to make note of this. In today's boxing, you get more than 24 hours to rehydrate. I get the sense by fight night, that man right there, He'll probably be much closer to light heavyweight than he is to super middleweight. That, that's been the pattern in the last couple of years. Canelo Alvarez and the reigning and defending champion. 154 pounds is Canelo Alvarez. The last time he was 154, May 2015, when he fought James Kirkland in Houston, Texas. He knocked him out in the third round. Challenger and champion. Saul Canelo Alvarez Liam Pippi Smith. Mexico lindo is playing Viva right now. Jalisco. Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. That's Canelo Alvarez. Viva Mexico. Liverpool. Y viva Canelo Alvarez. There you see Liam Pippi Smith. Gonna achieve a Liverpool game. Wouldn't it be bad? So Saturday night, you're gonna have the main event, 154 pounds. Golden Boy promotion. Liam Smith has had a smile on his face yeah. all week long <laughs> for a dude who's never fought in the United States. You know, looking at them face night, off, again, this is not a bodybuilding contest, Texas, and fights still have to be fought inside the ring. Beto, he has a decided size advantage in terms of height. He's a taller, rangier guy. Now, I don't think he's going to win this fight boxing a la Vernon Forrest, but I think he does have some physical advantages as they fight tomorrow night. Canelo Alvarez, 154 pounds. Liam Smith, also at 154. Liam does hold a WBO junior middleweight belt. That's the one you saw on the scales. That'll be the main event. Gabriel Rosado, Willie Monroe Jr. came in underweight. That'll be the co-feature in the middleweight division. Joseph Diaz Jr., Andrew Cancio, Diego De Loya, and Orlandito De Valle opened up the pay-per-view. Doug Smith, it, Doug Fisher is on the, with Liam Smith. Thank you, Beto. I'm here with the WBO junior middleweight champion of the world, Liam Smith. Liam, uh, now to my eyes, Canelo looked like he normally looks when he weighs in, but there was some speculation that he might struggle to make 154 pounds. To your fighter's eyes, did he look a little bit dried out to you? No, not necessarily. No, he looked like he looked yesterday. You know, I said all in the build-up. I think he'll make weight, and you know, he's a good professional, so he may wait, but... You know, we shouldn't be applauded for making weight. That's what he was meant to do. That said, as soon as he hopped off that scale, he was downing some electrolytes, some Gatorade-type stuff. He just took, like, a, a small sip of water. Do you think that it did kind of hurt, that he did have to struggle a little bit to make it, even though he did make it? If it did, I'll tell you now. I'll let you know, because I'll bring it out of him if, it, if he struggled to make weight. How do you think it's going to impact the fight tomorrow? Him actually fighting at 154 pounds after having not fought at junior middleweight since 2013. We, we, we will see Saturday, obviously, it's hard, to, it's hard to know. The last time he was under 154, he was dead on his feet, but it was against the best fighter, you know, on the, on the planet in Floyd Mayweather. So, 
if it's to do with the weight, then we'll know Saturday, because like I say, I'll bring it out to him. And this is a different style. You're going to bring the fight to him. Yesterday, you told me after the press conference that you thought that they were going to start fast, maybe try to take the fight to you in the early rounds. And you said you hope they do that. Why is that? Tell the people here why. Because if, I do that, if he does that and it doesn't work as planned, it's a massive mistake later on in the fight because he's not going to, you know, I'm confident he's not going to budge me and I'm going nowhere in this fight. All right. Good luck, champ. Tomorrow, Kieran Mulvaney is with Canelo Alvarez. Of all the fighters you faced in the world, you're a superstar, you have a choice of anyone. Why are you fighting Él es un gran peleador, no por nada es campeón mundial. Sabemos la gran calidad que es el rival, pero venimos listos y preparados para darle una victoria a México. No, he's a, def he's a very good fighter. He's a very tough fighter. We know of his talent, we know what he brings, but that's what we prepared for, to give Mexico a beautiful victory. For the fans here who haven't seen Liam Smith, what kind of fighter is he? Why is he so dangerous for you? No, he is a fighter that pega, that aguanta, that combina muy bien. He is joven, he is a great fighter. So, they are the fighters that I like, because they are fighters that make a beautiful fight, that the people like and I like it too. He is a very strong fighter, throws combinations, he can take a punch, he likes to bring, he likes to engage in a fight, and that's the kind of opponents I like, because you know what that does? It guarantees the public a great fight. First time you fought on Mexican Independence Day weekend was 10 years ago in Guadalajara. Thinking about that and looking at this huge crowd now and thinking what's going to be in, uh, present on Saturday, what goes through your mind? What do you think Mexican fans you've picked up along the way? No, la verdad, primero que nada, estoy muy agradecido con toda la gente, el gran apoyo que me han brindado, muchas gracias. Eh... Lo único, lo único que les puedo decir es que el, el sábado van a ver una gran pelea. Una pelea de choque, pero donde nos vamos a llevar la victoria y vamos a gritar Viva México juntos. I'm very grateful to, the, to my fans. I'm very grateful for this love and support that they always give me. And all I can assure them is you're going to see a beautiful fight on Saturday. And at the end of the night, we're taking the victory and we can all yell together Viva México. That is Canelo Alvarez. Thank you very much. Back to you, Beto. Thank you, Kieran, with Canelo Alvarez. That's the main event on Saturday. Canelo takes on Liam Smith as Ramon Ayala Stragos Amargos is jamming inside the AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys. The fans are getting fired up. Yo, Liam Smith calls himself the Scouse Mexican. Scouse being the accent that he has. Mexican because he says he has the Mexican style of fighting. Well, you're not going to have to look hard to find him if you're Canelo Alvarez. I really believe despite the stature that he has, tall, lean, and lanky, he's going to be right there. And Joe Gallagher made this very clear. Saturday night, they're going to have to set a quick pace because I think they realize they're in enemy territory, and I think winning a decision against that man in Texas will be very, very difficult. Canelo Alvarez, Liam Smith, Golden Boy, pay-per-view.com, Gabriel Rosado, Willie Monroe Jr., Joseph Diaz Jr., Andrew Cancio, Diego De La Hoya, Luis Orlando Del Valle. If you go to GoldenBoyPayPerView.com, you will hear the Colonel Bob Sheridan alongside one of the best in the sport of boxing, one of my favorites, Larry Merchant, who joins us here at the desk. Larry, how do you see this fight playing out? Well, I'm curious about it in a number of ways. Uh, I don't know if there's an international buzz, but I feel the buzz mm -hmm. because I think the general feeling is that although Smith is unknown really beyond Great Britain, uh, that he's a good fighter and a tough fighter and comes from a family of fighters. And that's why he knows how to fight, just like Canelo. So uh, I'm looking for something that's a good fight. Larry, speaking of a good fight, Amir Khan was actually doing fairly well for the first two or three rounds back on May 7th against Canelo. But I think we always got the sense a little bit too small. Before you get that, Larry, we still have four more fighters to weigh in. 